Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I have a super-sized episode for you today. Um, I had already recorded a best of, worst of Twitter, depending on how you look at it. And I had it scheduled to go up this weekend, but then of course we got the devastating news and, um, well, you know, <laughs> I wanted to go back and, and re-record the beginning part and add more on and focus on Catherine in the beginning here. I'll lay into the other two, you know, after that. But at first I wanted to um, talk about uh, some of the posts dedicated to Catherine, Princess of Wales. And as I've continued to say, wishing her nothing but health and, and speedy recovery and feeling so much right now. And I know you guys are too. And um, just sending her just all the love right now. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, starting off strong with this one, Lair to the Manor. Stay strong, ma'am. We've got your back. Uh we can do this. <laughs> we can. It's a beautiful photo. So it's like magical. I don't know how else to explain it, but she's lovely. And um, yeah, what a lovely tribute. I, I, I just think this is really nice. So many of us are feeling so strongly about this right now. I just, I want you to know I'm, I'm here. I feel it too. And oh goodness, <laughs> I hate this. I really do. But I know she'll be fine and um, has the best care and a lovely family. Oh man, it still, it hurts. Okay. And then we have this one. You talk about crying. This one really got me. Amy, I don't know how to say her last name. Is it du Duarte? Duarte Designs uh, apparently drew this and uh, shared by Harry's gray suit. And it says everything will be okay. I love this. I think they did so good. And this is so talented. And what a lovely picture. Ah, I'm not crying. You're crying. My goodness. So many talented people out there. And I love to see, and that's what I'm taking comfort in, the the people, everybody rallying around Catherine, Princess of Wales and, and the royal family. And of course, William and the children and all of it. And us flocking together. You're my emotional support geese. I said that on the live chat. I, You guys have really helped through this and I hope I've provided some sort of comfort as well. And we're here for each other. And I, I'm, I'm sad for her. I'm sad for the situation. I know she'll be fine. I'm sad for everybody going through health things right now and taking care of people dealing with different types of health things like this. And it just all of it is just hitting me right now, but um, I'm sending you all hugs. If I can get it together to do another live chat this weekend, I will. I will do my best. Um, uh, it just depends on timing and if I'm up to it. If not, then I'll do one very soon because that really did help the other night. And um, Yeah, I'm just sending you all hugs, uh, this picture. Okay, there's also this lovely tribute shared by uh, Canel Citadel, and it says, Prince William, lost mother in tragic accident. Oh my goodness. Lost grandmother and grandfather in the space of two years. Estranged from spiteful brother. His father is battling cancer. His wife is battling cancer. His three children under 11 to protect and raise. He's trying to keep the monarchy going. And still a brave face in the face of all this. Doing this all, sorry, doing all this quietly. Even future kings are humans and need a break. We stand with you, William. Oh. Deep breath. Okay. Uh, I know. So well said. Um, I'm also feeling the same and I'm glad that this is. I'm glad this is brought up and, and feeling the same. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, let's change gears for a second and take a deep breath. Snark Park Hark shared this one and said, This shattered my heart. First the diagnosis and also the way she's had to reveal it. Gutted. I stand with Catherine. She owed you nothing. That's exactly how I felt um, after processing all this. And, of course, my first thought was for... Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her family, and then the anger set in, too. I mean, I'm I'm devastated for them, but then the anger of all of this, that's exactly how I feel 
aimed at the media and that awful group of people. You know who I'm talking about. She owed you nothing. I would say that's toward the media mostly. She owed you nothing. But because of all the awfulness going around by both, I feel like it was all it was. Pre- she was pressured to come forward with this while dealing with everything, and it's it's just it's not right. Okay, this was shared by Salty Duchess hashtag We Love Catherine. All right, so I know you saw it, but in case you didn't, Plastic Face Man, I don't even like to say his name, had posted this countdown until the announcement. I talked about it on the live stream. I think that is despicable. He's part of the press. He knew something was coming. I can't prove it, but it's my opinion. He knew something bad was coming. So he set this celebration timer, if you will. I think he's despicable and awful and vile. Um, and we'll talk about his response. I've got it. Uh, lar- it's the one on the right, but I've got it blown up. We can read it together in a second. But um, Salty Duchess shared this. It says that one. <laughs> you can dirty delete all you want, but we'll keep all of your passive aggressive little treat tweets. Sorry, not treats, tweets. No amount of backpedaling will cleanse the foul stench of pathetic desperation. Omid Lickspittle is an odd little bloke who barks orders for the toxic, unsuccessful duo GTFOH. Okay. Thank you, Salty Duchess, for this. That's exactly how I'm feeling. I said it when I saw the completely awful, disrespectful curtsy from Megan in that faux documentary. And I said, I'll never forgive and I'll never forget that. Um, and, and I'm not letting Harry off the hook. He was right there, right next to her. So same, never forgive, never forget that. And I feel the same about all these assholes who are who are now trying to backpedal or, or, or hide from what they did. I won't forget it. Let's talk about this. Uh, this was the actual post. So you can see it up more clearly. Listen to this. He's playing victim now. Shocker. Again, look who he reports to. Harry and Meghan. That's their favorite thing to do. To to th- throw mud and then, oh, I'm the victim here. Feel sorry for me. It's not working. We see right through you. Here we go. When there was wor- word circulating that an announcement was coming from the palace at 6 p.m., I tweeted an image of the time for followers to keep an eye out. See, nothing's ever his fault. When the world and myself learned how serious the news ended up being, I removed the tweet to stop any speculation taking place underneath it. It's upsetting and disturbing to now see that post being portrayed as some sort of sick countdown by the mail and other outlets that quickly copied. I try to shrug off lies. (sighs) I try to shrug off lies like these. But this one is too disgusting to ignore. Nope, you're too disgusting, and I will be ignoring you. It's it's just this. Uh, I mean, a page right out of the playbook of Harry and Meghan, saying horrible things, doing horrible things, making it about themselves, and then when people call them out, it's oh, I didn't do it. I'm a victim here. Uh. Nope, nobody made you do that. You knew what you're doing. And I'm so glad so many people are calling out and seeing through this. And also, fuck you. Okay. This was shared by the Honorable Lady E, and it says, They obsessed over Catherine. Now they've hit, they're hit with a sobering truth. The Washington, this is, I guess, shared by the Washington Post. I cannot even describe the revulsion that I feel for all those disgusting individuals who tormented Catherine during this time. Yep, that's exactly how I feel, and that's what I'm saying, too. I, I, <laughs> I won't be forgetting this and uh, I won't be giving clicks or whatever it is. I will be unsubscribing to the people, the outlet. I won't forget that where's Kate bullshit and piling on all of that. And then I see these same people trying to turn like, oh, oh, you know, my thoughts with the royal family. Fuck off. Share the fab book lover shared this. It says, I'm officially done with celebrities. They are trash. Stephen Colbert, Blake Lively, Andy Cohen, Kim Kardashian, and numerous other people 
should have kept their mouths shut. But everyone was making fun of the princess and using her name for clout. Catherine will always be something they will never be. Classy. We love you, Catherine. Get well soon, Catherine. Ugh, so well said. That's ex- That's it. That's exactly it. That's how I feel as well. Okay, once again, this is Snark Bark Hark that shared this. Friend of the channel, thank you um, for this. Just think about this because I'm obsessed. It says, H and Rach, oh, I like that name very much, out of the fold. They weren't told, so it couldn't be sold. <laughs> so, I mean, it's funny because at its base level, it's just funny. But it's also disgusting and awful, um, and I couldn't agree more. That's exactly it. I go back to the when Her Majesty the late Queen passed, and they were given the wrong information on purpose just to see this all, you know, alleged, but we've read it a lot, and we've seen it, and even Plastic Man kind of spun it a different way in his book. So it sounds like to me that they were given the wrong information on purpose about, remember, um, Her Majesty the late Queen coming back after passing, uh, I believe, on the train. And um, guess who spread it around? <sighs> so, yeah, this applies very much. H and Rach out of the fold, they weren't told, so it couldn't be sold. Can you imagine? No, I can't. They're awful people. I can't imagine. I can't. Just not being able to... Yeah, they don't deserve anything. So it's not that I'm shocked that they're out of the fold. I think that's great. But as soon as they got any kind of information, they ran right to the press with it, right? To put out some half-assed statement. I did a separate video on that. You can see it. But yeah, this tells me everything I need to know. I already know so much about them. They're awful people. But speaking of awful people, let's transition to the next part of this video. Um, this is the part I had already recorded where we go into an appearance that they made. The ridiculousness of the both of them and so much more so here we go let's jump into that part of the video and again thank you guys for everything if i can get it together to do another live chat i'll do it because i'm just feeling like i want i want this flock of amazing people around me and and you guys are amazing thank you to everybody who's reached just you're all so lovely and i appreciate you all so much i really do Let's get into the other part of this video. I'm sending each and every one of you hugs. We have so much to talk about in this episode. So many things going on. So much news to share. I'm going to go into their latest appearance. I'm going to go into what's going on with the Sidley twins. I'm going to talk about Harold of Harold and Fraud suing everyone. So much to discuss, starting with what the heck is this outfit? Oh, I can't wait to talk about it all with you. It's more ridiculous, more expensive than you've probably guessed. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Jen Honk Honk, everyone. All right. In case you missed it, sounds like Dumb and Dumberton did an appearance on Thursday evening. What about, who knows? Seriously, who's still booking these people? I have no idea. Uh, this was shared by Remulade Sauce. I hope I'm saying that right. And it says Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were pictured at the Kinsey African American Art and History Collections event at SoFi Stadium yesterday. Once again, that one is wearing C Carolina Herrera. So just a reminder, Carolina Herrera is the one that designed, well, you know, this dress. Seriously, though, who could forget? It's so bad. And and it's just proof that Carolina Herrera hates women because look at this. <laughs> look at this outfit. It's so bad. So Remy Lodsauce, um says that once again, she's wearing Carolina Carolina Herrera cape and jacket. It's currently retailing for, ready for this, 3800 US dollars, uh, down from the original price tag of 4400 US dollars. Who's going to rush right out and buy this? Shall we look at it up close? Take a look. Okay, so I turned the brightness all the way up on this photo so you could really see what's going on. I still can't tell. It just looks like a box. What's going on? What is this thing? It's supposed to be a dress? I, okay. If you have a boxy figure, if you're high-waisted, I just, I don't know that the, if you're known for having an emphasis on shoulders, is this the outfit you're wearing? <laughs> she always, always, always gets it wrong. I don't understand. And again, with the ridiculous 
ridiculously expensive outfits. I, I, I really, really can't understand this. And then let's zoom in and look at what's going on in the pockets here. I mean, are those pockets? I don't, I really don't understand this one. Again, just dressed completely wrong. It doesn't make any sense. I don't, yeah, okay. I'm going to let the fashion experts take this one over, but it's really a mess. And um, again, with the ludicrously expensive outfits, sure, why not? Okay, I actually thought this was super funny. Lucy Piper shared this and said, it's a body double. Because why not? You know, we've seen all the conspiracy theories on Catherine, Princess of Wales. So I think it's really funny that Megan's out doing these stupid appearances, holding on to her best friend, the microphone. And um, why not call it out? Sure, it's a body double. That's what the, uh, the her followers claimed, of course, about Catherine, Princess of Wales. So why not claim it here? Sure. And then take a look at this. When your wife could not attend, so you brought a wax figure from Madame Tussauds. <laughs> and then this person, I cannot pronounce your name, I-H-I, T-A-N-D-R-S, says... Thank God, no Photoshop necessary this time. Oh my goodness, that is very wax-like. What is going on here? Not a good look. Not just, again, not just the outfit. I mean, the outfit is terrible. Okay, I'm just, it's just speculation. I'm just asking, was more work done? Again, I've said before, I don't understand how somebody can pop up with a new head every couple of months. That's not a thing that happens. I get that people get fillers and Botox and all that. But her whole face changes constantly, and I can't keep up. HRH Princess Chelsea shared this and says, So she's wearing flats and he's wearing heels? Take a look at that. This was something that's come up before, and somebody pointed it out. Just pay attention to the height of Harry's heels. He likes to do that. And remember the ridiculous time cover where they tried to convince us they were the same height. Again, they're against Photoshop. You can't make this stuff up. All right. Brittany over at Royal News Network says, shouldn't Megan worry more about Instagram brand flop more than grabbing another microphone to spout more meaningless platitudes and word salad? I find it crazy that she launched a brand. It's a week later and she's done nothing. She hasn't done anything with it. Exactly this, you guys. Thank you, Brittany, for calling this out. I just think that is so funny. This has to be the worst launch in history. I've seen people trying to say, well, it was a soft launch. It's the worst soft launch in history. There's nothing there. There's no content. There's nothing. Just absurd. I mean, just it's just an absurd thing. And, and to me, I actually love that there's nothing there because it proves what we all knew, which was she was just trying to time it out to try to upstage William, Prince of Wales. And her own stupid husband, right? Giving a speech about their mother. Trying to make it about herself. I keep saying it. I've had you guys say it in the comments. What happens when our Catherine, Princess of Wales, yes, our Catherine, I love her, um, comes back when she's ready, happy and healthy. Um, what then? What's she going to launch then? Is she actually going to post content on the stupid thing? Like what's going to happen then? Uh, we've seen the stories coming out where Megan hires a photographer for the children. Here's my opinion. I've said it. I'm going to say it again here on record so you can see it. And then we have Mystified, friend of the channel, says it's embarrassing. Not only did Meghan Markle purposely, and before she had a single product to sell or thought to blog, tried to upstage Princess Diana's memorial. Her husband and the youngest son of Princess Diana was two hours late to thank the participants by video. Did you get that? His mother, whose name he manages to drop at every possible event, however inappropriate, the one he loves so much he keeps a box of her hair. God, I forgot about that night. That, that, night stand, that detail, it makes me shiver. Uh, on his nightstand was not important enough for him to fly to the UK, probably for the best. And he couldn't even be on time for the video link to her memorial awards. But that's not rude or out of line or opportunistic. I wonder if Princess Diana contacted Meghan and told her to do it. Hashtag Harry and Megan are pathetic losers. This right here is why I love Mystified. So well said, exactly how I'm feeling. I didn't even realize that prick was two hours late. I just, 
I, I can't care about him. And I didn't, I don't always pick up on the details of him. He's just a nothing. You know, she's, she's a narcissist and does really batshit crazy things. But like, I don't know, it's, she's a little more interesting in the crazy things she does. He's just a nothing. He is just a lump. I don't get him at all. This is my prediction. She is putting these stories out on purpose because it's her favorite thing to do or somebody in her camp is putting these stories out like, oh, she calls in a photographer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love that, by the way, that she's making a big deal out of things that normal parents do. Not calling in a photographer, but having your children's picture taken. Ooh, why is this news? But she's spreading this around so that way she can cover her tracks when, again, our Catherine, Princess of Wales, comes back and she uses that exact day or time or moment as close as she can get to it to release these pictures. I is my opinion, my belief, she's already had the pictures done. She's spreading this around so that way it'll, in her mind, cover her tracks and make sense. I say bring it on because it's going to flop spectacularly and um, I can't wait to see all the photoshopping that's done on that. Okay, and then Princess, I don't I don't know if it's I am, I am, I am, or lamb, 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 whoever you are, you're brilliant, wrote, Megan stepping out to look for her children. There you go. There's that. I, I've made the ring comparison in other situations, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so you've seen where Harry loves to sue people. That's his new job, I guess, just suing everyone he can. There's another lawsuit uh, this one time it involves the sun, the publishers of the sun, and more phone hacking stuff. Sounds like he's going into things that happened from his childhood. I, I can't even keep up. I don't want to keep up at this point, but uh, let's look at some funny memes about it. All right, this was shared by Inna Nina, and it says, From now on, every time I speak about Harry, I'll refer to him as Sue. I like that so much. I thought that was great. I'd like to sue someone, please. <laughs> That's perfect. That's pretty much how Harry is funding. Well, I know it's not even I think it's how he intends to fund his lifestyle. But from the, you know, everything I've seen online, he's not profitable at it. He keeps having to pay out for lawyers fees and things. So I don't I don't get it. I think he's just going through a list of grievances listed in crayon. I'm not really sure what's going on. It's not going well. Okay, then you have Charles's voicemail that says, someone is egging him on, wonder who? And it says, come on, Harry, keep it up. I need that new car. So yeah, there's his attorney there. That smile, my God. Gaze Look, he's gazing at Harry like, uh, it, his actually looks more genuine than Megan's does. So there's that. Then we have Lean Meme Machine, hashtag Megan's husband. Look at this, Orchard. Uh, scarecrow. I'd like to call him a sparecrow. Ah, uh, see, when you start seeing people use that, know that I coined it, sparecrow. Um, <laughs> so here we go. So the sparecrow here is in the orchard and it says, H, keeping the family business safe. The former TIG blogger finds the perfect job for her husband. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I can't tell that there's any difference with this face I see here than actual Harold of Harold and Fraud's face. So yeah, well done, Lean Moon Machine. Then we have this one, hashtag Meghan Markle top secret. Okay, so we have this top secret mom. Not even the children know who she is. <laughs> I thought that was great. I actually thought that Lean Meme Machine made her look way more polished than she actually is, though. Uh, if this were Megan, she'd be in beige. Things wouldn't be fitting correctly. Um, yeah. Anyway, well done. I had to share this one. Meghan Markle, perfect loser. Meghan Markle, the boring beige wonder. The Suits superstar reveals her authentic illusions of grandeur driven business. American Riviera Orchard is the perfect cure for insomnia. I don't know what it is about this picture, but everything about it has cracked me up since Lean Me Machine posted this. I actually reshared it on mine because I can't stop laughing about this. Everything about it is perfect. Well, not so much, but you know what I mean. Like <laughs> Lean Me Machine nailed this. The color, the expression, the 
the messy, all of it, the wrinkled in that, um, what is it, that uh, trench coat dress, trench dress, whatever, the beige, all of it. What a mess. Boring beige wonder. Too funny. All right. Let's talk about my triplets. <laughs> That's right. The Sidley twins. You know I love them. They're great. Highly recommend. If you haven't checked out their channel, check it out. All right. Stephanie and Nancy. I know you know, but for the two of you that don't, they are in, I wouldn't even say a few, they are kicking the butt of Megan's idiot photographer. I don't even like to say his name, so I won't. That idiot photographer that they use, that she uses all the time, you know who I'm talking about. Um, he had the balls to go after them and to go after their dad, who is the most lovely man. Um, if you haven't seen it, they have a great video up where their dad goes into his experience, how many years he's been in the business. He knows photography so well. He knows about editing. I mean, it's an excellent video. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Well, he outlines all his thoughts on why this one's a fraud and this one can't handle it. He's absolutely going nuclear and threatening them. And I believe threatened a lawsuit. Like I was texting, um, with Stephanie and I just was saying, this is awful. He's like this. Megan's followers are all over them. She keeps having to block bots and stuff all because their dad gave an opinion on why he thinks, you know, everything is a lie with those two and the photographs and all that. So it's crazy, right? It's crazy. If he, it just tells me the harder he fights this, you know, a YouTube channel speaking out on their opinions, the more he looks guilty of the things that they're discussing, right? So um, they are tweeting stuff out and, and luckily everybody's been very supportive minus the bots and trolls. But here's the video where their dad was on. Um, here's her dad, Kirk. He's so lovely. And he... Again, he goes through the photographs and explains his knowledge and his years in business and all that. And so I definitely recommend you check it out. But but look at this. So here he is coming after them and says, it's extraordinary that photographers are having to do this. Talking about it, they had asked for this raw file um, because he's claiming he doesn't Photoshop and people are calling him out. He's... Instead of actually addressing this and providing the proof that they're asking for, that it was, uh, I I'm not good at this stuff, but you know, you know me in technology, unedited. Um, and people have really piled on and called him, not piled on, but called him out because everything he says is BS. Well, what does he do? He says, he starts tagging YouTube in it. And basically like, I'm going to tell on you. Because they're having opinions and a discussion about why they believe he's full of shit. It is my opinion, and I believe he is also full of shit. I just think this is such crap. This is what I sent out. I said, opinions do not equal hate. Because he was calling it, like, hate. He was receiving hate over this. No, no. That's what the, the other side does, is they put out these hate campaigns, as we've seen toward Catherine, Princess of Wales. No, opinions do not equal hate. It sounds an awful light, uh, sorry, an awful lot like Harry and Meghan's point of view. Differing opinions are not hate. And remember, Harry called First Amendment bonkers. It's not bonkers, to quote Harold. I get so upset because that's exactly a Harry and Meghan tactic. They're the first ones to speak out. Same with this idiot photographer. He speaks out on their behalf, always trying to defend them, just like their their lapdog, the plastic face man. And yet, if you speak out against them, they want to shut you down. They can't handle it. I just get so disgusted, and I'm disgusted on behalf of the Sidley twins. Again, I stand, lit I stand with the Sidley twins. I hate that they're having to deal with this, but I'm so proud of them for taking this on. I'm fully in their corner on all of it. And I'm going to end with this one, the Honorable, or the On Lady E. And it says, she posted this, um, and I just thought it was so beautiful. I, I shared it as well. I just, it's so well said. It says, I'm not worried about Catherine, Princess of Wales. Taking time and recuperating for three, four, six months 
She should take as long as she needs. I'm not worried about her whereabouts. I know full where, well where she is. She's at home with her children and her loving, supportive husband. I'm not worried about her, her type of surgery. That is her own private experience, which I believe is sacrosanct. I hope I said that right. What I am worried about, however, is the toll, the incessant bullying. I know I have to mispronounce that because of YouTube. Bullying. <laughs> the never-ending conspiracy theories. The slanderous insinuation and the harassment of her husband, of herself, of her family, her friends will take on her. To be deluged with so much stress and so much hateful misinformation is detrimental to the healing process. That is my concern. So I say ignore the chattering Fruit Loops. Get well soon, princess, and take as long as you need. I thought that was so beautifully said and exactly what I've been saying. We will see her when we're ready to see her. And I can't wait. I love her so much. And I, you know, she takes, all, she, she needs to take all the time she needs and not worry about all the nonsense. You guys, I'm going to end this one here. This was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Lots of stuff coming out we'll continue to talk about. And I mean, just thank you for all the support. If you haven't already, do consider checking out my second channel here. It's Goose Adventures. It's a travel channel. I'm very excited to get this one launched and up off the ground. Thank you to everybody who's taken the time to watch and, and be so supportive. I appreciate you all so much. Speaking of support, you know, there's two ways to do it. I still have the merch, make it make sense. Recollections may vary. Still one of my favorites. Not bloody likely. Love uh, the Princess Royal. Nod to her. So check that out if you haven't already. Or check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer, just like the lovely geese and gators you see on the screen before you. That's where I do the bonus deep dives, extra content, lots of fun stuff going on over there. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you all so much, and I can't wait to read your thoughts on all of this. I truly hope you have the best day, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.